Today on All Things 80s, this box contains the greatest Star Wars toy Kenner ever made. <laughs> Welcome back to All Things 80s, and as we all know, Kenner made some of the best toys that were enjoyed by kids in the 80s. But for me, there's one toy in particular they made which far surpassed all the other Star Wars toys. And I'm very fortunate to have it in this box right here. So we're going to get this opened up and we'll show you what it is. But before I do that, just try and take a guess as to what you think this box contains. Now you can see by the size of it, it's not a Millennium Falcon. But it is a Kenner Star Wars toy and like I said, it's the best they ever made. Right, so I've got the box sliced open. Now, what's quite funny is the listing did say on eBay, it said, you know, please be aware this item comes from a, a home that does uh, have people that smoke in the house. So I just opened this and it absolutely stinks. <laughs> but I was warned about it, so I can't really complain, but my God. Whew. So anyway. Now, very well packaged, and what I should mention is it does come with a brand new pack of batteries. God damn it, this thing is absolutely stinking. Ugh. So there's the batteries, and it also comes with a first generation little Kenner Star Wars catalog. Now I've not seen one of these since probably, what, 1980? In fact, no, because if I got my first Star Wars figures in 1980, I think that was the year, those would have been Empire Strikes Back catalogs. So this one, yeah, it's the first 12, TIE Fighter X-Wing, uh, blow up lightsabers. So anyway, this is all just extras. Here we have the greatest toy, or greatest Star Wars toy Kenner ever made. And it is, of course, almost, almost, oh, got a Ziploc bag. So maybe, maybe the, this item won't stink of smoke, let's see. The greatest Star Wars toy Kenner ever made, laser pistol. Um, now why is it the greatest toy? Because this allowed you to be Han Solo or Luke Skywalker. As cool as those little figures were, they didn't allow you as a kid to actually uh, dive into the world of Star Wars. And this, on the other hand, absolutely let you be the heroes you saw on the big screen. Now, I'm assured that it does work. So I'm gonna take this uh, battery cover off and insert these new batteries. Uh, God damn it, this does smell as well, actually. It's, Absolutely horrendous. My God, they must be smoking like two or three packs a day in this house. Um, comment below if you know of any tricks or techniques to remove the smell of cigarette smoke. I would like to know. All right, I've put the batteries in and I'm nervous about testing this because if I remember rightly, it's going to be that whiny motor sound. And also I should point out it was it wasn't necessarily a trick, but you always had to hold this button in with your, I guess, middle finger before pulling the trigger. And I believe it did say there were two sounds, uh, depending on how hard you pulled back the trigger. So are you ready for this? Okay, so first level, and then harder. I have to be honest and say that uh, it's quite mind-blowing to hear this again because as a kid, this was probably my favorite toy uh, related to Star Wars and I played with this endlessly and I'm sure it must have annoyed the hell out of my parents because let's be honest. 
that's not a necessarily a pleasant sound. But this is it, the Star Wars laser pistol. Ah, I can't believe I have this in my possession again. What a wonderful, wonderful thing to have. And admittedly, it looks like a toy, whereas the prop replicas you buy in this day and age are highly authentic. But it doesn't matter because this is the best Star Wars toy Kenner ever made. And I remember I had this. I also had which would have been a knockoff lightsaber, which again was essentially a flashlight with a plastic tube on the end. I remember it was a blue handled flashlight with this sort of clear looking tube, absolutely terrible, but this was the best and this still is the best ever. So, so happy to have this. And the condition of this item is actually pretty good really considering its age. Uh, just a pity about this smell. Oh my God, it's, it's horrendous. I've never smelled anything so smoky in my entire life. Anyway, this was the best ever Star Wars toy. So thank you for watching. Special thanks to the Patreons. Please like, please subscribe. And as always, stay tuned for more videos from all things 80s.